Hello audience, I wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor would like to welcome you for visiting and here is the official news. One, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey jet out of Kansas City after celebrating Chiefs' win at private party. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were spotted leaving Kansas City after celebrating the Chiefs' victory at a private party. They are reportedly heading to Swift's residence in New York City. The couple, both 34, attempted to keep a low profile as they boarded a private jet, with Swift using a black umbrella for cover. They celebrated the Chiefs' win over the Baltimore Ravens, where Swift was seen enjoying the game in a VIP suite and interacting with Kelsey's family. Eyewitnesses noted that Swift had a fun time at the after-party. Fans are speculating about Swift's upcoming album release, especially after her bold outfit at the game, which resembled a look from a past music video. Swift and Kelsey, who began dating in July 2023, are rumored to be planning an engagement soon, with Kelsey having asked Swift's father for permission. 2. Taylor Swift gets a little drunky at Travis Kelsey's post-win party with Chiefs teammates Travis Kelsey hosted a celebratory party at Prime Social in Kansas City following the Chiefs' Week 1 win, inviting his teammates and friends. Taylor Swift attended the event, reportedly having a great time and getting a bit tipsy. She was dressed stylishly for the game, wearing a Versace corset and other designer items. The intimate gathering included notable players like Patrick Mahomes and Michael Hardman Jr. And while there were no social media posts from the event, phones were not confiscated, allowing for a relaxed atmosphere. Swift expressed her excitement about the Chiefs' victory during the game and was seen enjoying herself with Kelsey's family and friends. 3. Vanderpump Rules Alum Kristen Dude engaged to Luke Broderick after two years of dating Kristen Dude is engaged to Luke Broderick after two years of dating. With Broderick proposing on a boat in Maui, Hawaii. Duke described the proposal as a surprise and expressed her excitement about their future together. The engagement ring features a 4.27-carat emerald-cut diamond, designed with help from her friend Kyle Chan. The couple, who met at a wedding in June 2022, faced challenges early in their relationship regarding where to live but eventually settled in Valley Village, California. They experienced a miscarriage in November 2023 but remain hopeful about starting a family. Dude has a history of relationships with several cast members from Vanderpump Rules before finding love with Broderick. 4. Dennis Quaid says he doesn't regret anything about Meg Ryan marriage, despite both having sordid affairs Dennis Quaid expressed that he has no regrets about his marriage to Meg Ryan, which ended over 20 years ago. In a recent interview, he reflected on their relationship noting that while both were successful when they met, Ryan's career took off significantly, which created some strain. Quaid acknowledged that their marriage faced challenges, including his time in rehab and alleged infidelity on both sides. Despite their split in 2000, he emphasized the positive outcome of their union, their son, Jack Quaid. Ryan, who has not remarried since their divorce, previously stated that her relationship with Russell Crowe did not cause the marriage's end, while also revealing Quaid's infidelity during their time together. Quaid criticized Ryan for revisiting their past publicly. Both have since moved on, with Quaid marrying Laura Savoy in 2020 and Ryan having a long-term relationship with John Mellencamp. 5. 
Jennifer Lopez shows Ben Affleck what he's missing in skin-bearing metallic dress at TIFF 2024 Jennifer Lopez made a stunning appearance at the Toronto International Film Festival on Friday. Wearing a metallic gown for the premiere of her film, Unstoppable. The 55-year-old actress showcased her figure in a skin-bearing Tamara Ralph dress, complemented by silver pumps and diamond studs. This marked her first red carpet event since filing for divorce from Ben Affleck last month, who did not attend the premiere but was seen in Los Angeles. Affleck's best friend, Matt Damon, co-produced the film and attended the event with his wife, posing for photos with Lopez despite the ongoing divorce. The couple's separation, officially dated April 26, 2024, has been complicated by financial disputes, as they did not sign a prenup before their 2022 wedding. 6. Marlon Wayans defends Jennifer Lopez against allegations that fame changed her. It's always love Marlon Wayans defended Jennifer Lopez against claims made by their former, in living color, co-star Tommy Davidson, who suggested that fame has changed her. On the Club Shay Shay podcast, Wayans described Lopez as consistently warm and supportive, recalling how she even helped him land a role in Ben Affleck's film, Air. He emphasized that Lopez has always shown love and never acted superior despite her fame. In contrast, Davidson shared his experiences of feeling brushed off by Lopez after her rise to stardom, leading him to avoid her. Wayans expressed hope to work with Lopez again and reflected positively on their past interactions, while Lopez has not publicly responded to Davidson's comments. 7. Jennifer Lopez was never a fan of $68 million mansion she shared with Ben Affleck. It was a major compromise Jennifer Lopez reportedly was not fond of the multi-million dollar Beverly Hills mansion she shared with estranged husband Ben Affleck, which he chose as a compromise. The $68 million home, featuring 12 bedrooms and 24 bathrooms, was spacious enough for both their families but did not match Lopez's preference for a romantic, Spanish-style aesthetic. Affleck on the other hand, found the location inconvenient as it was far from where his children live with their mother, Jennifer Garner. Following their split, which was officially noted in legal documents as April 26, Affleck purchased a new home in Pacific Palisades, while Lopez is still searching for her next residence. Their divorce proceedings may become contentious due to the absence of a prenup. Despite attempts to salvage their marriage, Lopez has shifted her focus to her life post-Affleck. And the couple has not publicly addressed their breakup. 8. Demi Moore looks sharp in suit-inspired outfit finished with a tie at Tiff Demi Moore made a striking appearance at the 2024 Toronto International Film Festival in a Tom Brown outfit while promoting her new film, The Substance. The 61-year-old actress wore a white button-up shirt with a black tie, paired with a sleek black silk skirt featuring a corset design. She accessorized with Tiffany and Company jewelry, including droplet earrings and a diamond brooch. Accompanied by co-star Margaret Qualley, who wore a Chanel couture gown, Moore received praise on social media for her look. With stylist Brad Goreski and fans expressing admiration, in a recent interview, Moore discussed her experience with the film's body horror genre, which she found challenging yet exciting. The Substance is set to be released in theaters on September 18, 